Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. It's December the 2nd, the start of this week. Can you believe that? Oh my God, where has, oh my goddess, where's this week gone? Anyway, this week we're going to get the flavour of 2020 as Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, shifts signs, diverting our destiny in a new direction. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey Gemini, right now it all begins for you, the next chapter of your life, and it involves power and your primal emotions. You're going to use the inner strength that you have to transform your life, not just this week, but in 2020. Does it sound dramatic? Yes, it is dramatic because you've got Jupiter going into your eighth house. It's about power. It's about money. It's about resources. And it's about you really knowing the roots of your being and how to use them to your advantage. Now, Venus, the planet of love, is joining forces with the South Node. There is some healing to be done and some changes to be made when it comes to your sense of how powerful you are within your personal relationships and also how you use power in your personal relationships. Now, I can't answer that, you, but I would suggest actually you take this week to reflect on that and reflect on the power dynamics, not just in your current relationship, but maybe your past relationships. You know, what are your vulnerabilities? What are your weak spots? What are the, the parts within you when you're in intimate relationships and in the workplace, actually, where you feel kind of vulnerable or not in your power? You really can heal and transform that. The eighth house is very much the phoenix. Yes, there may be moments when you have to go through a tunnel um, to come out the other end, but you will be completely flying high with your golden tipped wings over the next year and understanding your own power. It's very full on and it's very deep. Now this week we also have Mercury, the planet of communication, coming out of retro shadow. Even though it's been going direct, it has still been causing pains in the arse all over the place. And from the 7th, it's like, oh, yeah, it's much clearer, particularly when it comes to your work, actually. Have you had a work dilemma on your mind? Have you been changing your routines? I hope so, because you should have been. Um, you're, you're healthier, you're stronger, and now you can get on with it without any hassle. The sun that is square Neptune. And this square for you is about finding the balance between what is illusion and what is real, between your relationships and your work. Um, try not to fall into any illusions, keep your strength, keep your power and keep going forward. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Gemini, let's pull three cards for you to see what the week ahead is going to hold for you. If you're not into tarot, switch off now. Of course, this isn't going to be for everyone, so use your intuition to see if it's right for you. Gemini, you may feel a bit in limbo at the moment, but don't worry. Everything happens in its own time. Whenever I get the limbo card, I think, great, I'm going to go and play then. I can't force the situation, so I'm going to go and do some of the things that I like. There's a soul connection around you that you have a very strong bond with, and that energy is around you. But, of course, that could be the thing that's slightly delayed, but it's there. It's blossoming. And there could be a Taurus Virgo, because that's come up again. There could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn coming into play. There are issues around your financial security and your abundance coming in. And it looks like you might make a decision that could end up being very lucrative to you. Be practical this week and great rewards are on the table. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michellenight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. I've had the company for 20 years. I handpicked them and they are fabulous. So I'm going to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. My name is Alexandra. I'm a motivational and inspirational reader. First of all, I'm psychic. I'm like a channel. I'm channeling messages as and when they just come and go. Working on the phone is much easier compared to uh, having a face-to-face -face reading. It allows me to express 100% of my skills. 
I pick up the phone and I need to hear the voice. They don't need to tell me anything. I don't need to hear any details from them. I just dive straight into the messages I'm getting, describing their current situation so that they get some validation that I know what I'm talking about. A non-judgmental and very much patient and understanding don't involve my views on the situation obviously. It's good to hear that people come back and telling me that things did happen as I predicted they would or thanking me for the advice I've given them. This is the biggest satisfaction in this work. So that's the whole point. This is the whole value of what I do.